It's Keyshawn guys, welcome back. Today, as you can tell, we are back in the game and let's just let me just tell you what has gone on. So far we have a new coalition member, Kenya, one of the rare people that are actually actively playing in Africa. So these are these three countries are these these three countries are all playing and are active click on all of them they have army bases that's the number way, one way to tell because you can't build anything unless if you have at least one army base right so they don't have any um algeria and libya are both inactive and this is a pc country or a ai country as i would like to call it so there are you can't play as them obviously um niger is an ai country chad i think i'm saying that right um, no one's playing as them, so, and same for, um, Madagascar, this is an AI country, you can't play as them, unless if you play Overkill, which is, I think, required at four times speed, I'm in a basic lobby, you know, 64 people, real time, basic 64 lobby, but let's get into what I've done so far, I've taken over the one city that Israel has over here, and it was fairly easy we did lose one infiltrate, which is really annoying but hey it, we took it over quite fairly easy so we're going to go to the next country not next country sorry next city and take this city over it's electronic city i'm a little annoyed of how did this country um this city isn't really important i wish the supply city was here because i've been running low lately but that's usual in almost any country you pick, you always will be running out of supply so lots of the time. And no, I would not like to use gold. As you can tell, I have 22 gold. I used up all my gold. And in important games, which I wish I've never done, which I wish I didn't do, because it would have been so great to have some gold for this series, and I ain't buying any. So, back to what I was saying. So, we're going to take over this city, basically. And, yeah, so now we don't have to worry about um, Kenya. I've decided I think I'm gonna declare war on Libya they've been just overall sus and and seeing inactive but then active at times it's weird so I'm just gonna take them over so I eliminate that threat Morocco is active but I'm surprised they haven't gone into Algeria yet I'm guessing that will probably be their next move or Mali Mali is active I think but because they took over some of this land I don't think yeah, Mali doesn't come with this. Mali doesn't call, come with this land, so they've taken that land. But rather than that, they haven't done much else because Morocco has taken the rest of uh, Madrid. I'm not even gonna try to pronounce that. Um, has taken the rest of this um, AI country, so we should be okay because you can't play as them. But Egypt so far is so far we've done very well in expanding over here and building up our troops and infrastructure so we should be okay on that front um i think in the last episode or at, at some point in the last episode you saw saudi arabia tried to go for this syrian city but uh they had to run because i think i said it in the last episode or the f or the first i think so uh they put some troops here trying to attack that city both of, uh the infiltrate they sent in there were pretty much at all both were at half health so that wasn't going to work because most cities have about three or two infiltrate on them at full health which he probably did have and yeah he did have because he did attack them but then ended up running later on because he realized his troops going were going to die i think they both made it out all right and he sent them down here or they one of them died but this one is okay as you can tell at half health um so Greece decided to go into that city and tried to take that city over, which they did um, successfully, but not without my help. And I don't think they would have without my health be help, because if you look at his troop, it's at 0 0.3 because I sent in my squadron to attack that one city there. So pretty good on a uh, coalition front working together. And... Um, some very interesting things going on here this city was taken it's an occupied city i don't remember if that was a part of Saudi arabia but i don't think it was was it a part of Saudi arabia i don't know 
I think it may be. I'm going to have to talk to him and uh, ask him because I don't remember if that was uh, Iran City or not. And it says it's occupied. I don't know if there was like a PC country because in real life I think they consider this a country. So it's really complicating. I don't know. Um, I think it was. Yes, it's a AI country that he's taken over here. But I don't know about the rest of this. This may have been Saudi Arabia's land, but I don't know. Iran has uh, has seen um, Turkey go into here. Obviously, Turkey's gone into here trying to take the capital over here. Um, I don't know um, what... Oh, he has a UAV also out over here, but yeah, they look like they're gunning for the same land. So, overall, they look okay, because I don't think Iran's going to be able to beat him with one damaged um recon vehicle so i think um turkey's pretty good to take this city um iran's definitely going to be a big threat so i'm trying to not use up too many of my resources so yeah pretty much i think we're going to go into libya now and also take that one city on in israel which i've already set to happen so now the question is how much do i send into libya should I save some for my front over here, just in case? I don't think I have any threats, really, at the moment. Like, I have literally zero threats. Like, no one's going to really attack me, except maybe Libya. And Morocco's all the way over here. So, I think at this point, we just expand at this point and just rapidly do it. So, I think I'm just going to send in a full force over here. Don't know why they can't just go through here, but... Okay, so we're going to do it through boat at this point, and we're going to take this one city here, and I'm going, going to send these troops over to this one city over here also in Libya. So, we're also going to probably take this big province. This is probably one of the biggest provinces in the game. Just huge. So we're going to take that. Um, and just head for the capital at that point. We're probably going to see Morocco come into Algeria at one point, and we're probably going to meet in the middle somewhere here. I wouldn't be surprised, because they they seem pretty active to have all this stuff built. I, don't, I definitely think they're not going to be, become inactive with all the stuff they have. So, this is definitely shaping up to be a good game, especially in Iran here, and Turkey and Saudi Arabia. It's definitely going to be a big cluster of war going on in Iraq. Well, what used to be Iraq it looks like because they're all probably going to meet in the middle here right so i hope saudi arabia is ready he's looking like he has lots of his troops down here i hope he sends up more cities up to his north because there's definitely a threat over here that he needs to be worried about so i may text message him later and, and tell him to do that because that seems like a big threat because if he's taking this little pc country here ai country he may gonna he may end up uh gunning for his capital and we can't have that so i'm definitely probably going to send maybe a recon vehicle his way kind of just move there and drop it on his city just to help him out just in case because i am worried about him there on that part so i'm gonna be nice and send him a recon vehicle here um now here's the stuff last time i said we we're going to build boats next so yes we are now building our big navy um because i plan on having a huge one because we're going to be definitely spreading into europe and more of africa and the best way i think for playing as egypt is through our navy so our navy here is going along very well i would say we only have two boats at the moment because i'm low on supplies which is annoying as heck right now hell um we don't have enough money at the moment to really buy a, a bunch of supplies people sell supplies at high rates here what i would probably say at the second most highest rate is supplies i mean is supplies and rare materials is the highest even though i'm selling it for nine and no one's taking it weird oh someone wants to oh, i'll accept why not <laughs> it's free money um we can use all we need uh, at the moment we need all of it um i don't want to put an infiltrate here because infiltrate wouldn't make much sense to put here at the moment because why would i we have barely any supplies so i'm just gonna save it up we haven't i would say we have enough infiltrate at the moment so i'm going to send 
another recon vehicle down to this city that I've taken over and we're gonna try to take over these two cities or these two cities I don't know we'll see how Kenya and I divide up Ethiopia because they're inactive so it shouldn't be fairly it should be fairly easy as long as we have a couple more troops than them and a recon vehicle so and I've also sent this little stack of one infiltrary and a recon vehicle down here um, I'm not gonna rush them I'm going to cancel it and have it so when I do wake up it's there no it goes that route so I'm gonna do it to here so we're gonna take this province which is a huge one and this one which is another fairly sized one so we kind of have it shaped in a half decent way where people can like go and go into sedan and surprise attack us right we don't want that so take some land here plus it gives us some money right per per day 100 per day which is we need it all at the moment we need all as we can get also here is greece greece has taken over some parts of serbia they seem like they haven't been building anything at the moment as i just re recognize you can see what your coalition's building um <laughs> Which is hilarious. I, I don't know why I haven't um, done that before and looked, but you can't see. It may be hard to look at the city, at least his squadrons are going over. Yeah, he hasn't motorized anything else, really, it seems like. Um, no, he is building a emergent, uh, military emergency room here, obviously. Um, yeah, he hasn't built much more. Um, I hope Saudi Arabia is building more because I think they need to. Um, no, they haven't built any more infiltrary. He should definitely think about doing that. Um, one of his cities that he took over has gone rogue, which is sad because now he has to send back um, some troops to go get it. So I have sent him, obviously, the recon vehicle to help him just in case Iran uh, tries to attack. I hope he hasn't gone inactive on us, that would be horrible because then I have this whole threat to my coastal line which I really don't want. So even if he is inactive I'm going to try to defend his country because you can take back land for people when you're in a coalition. So hopefully he's he comes back and hopefully he's active enough. Um, once again let's go back to Greece, he's taken over some parts of Serbia here. Um, just provinces at this point. He's just gunning for his capital over here. He has one infiltrary left. Oh, sorry, two. I didn't see that. Two infiltrary left. Um, does he have more attack? No, he has less attack and the same amount of defense. Well, almost the same amount of defense. He's going to need to send more troops up that way. So, I hope he does. I hope he recognizes that. He's also sent, um... A recon vehicle which is badly damaged and an infiltrary member to take down this one troop which looks like um, he'll take fairly easy um, once again I want to bring this up what a weird thing for Italy to do I don't know what his logic is here but he's taken this one city and annexed it in Serbia and then uh, I thought he was gonna take the rest of Serbia but he didn't and Greece waited kind of cuz I guess he probably didn't want to, you know, see where Italy was going, right? Sorry for the background noise. But see where Italy was going and probably didn't want to take over Serbia, right? Which makes sense. I would do the same thing because you don't want um, to be invading a country at the same time because the ends just clash and then it's kind of like three on three. So he waited and Italy has done nothing but it annexed the city and hasn't expanded to even bother to take the provinces around it like these two which are perfect i don't know why he hasn't taken these he didn't bother to and he's just annexed it i don't know why he didn't go for one of these countries that are ai countries which are ran by the computer and the game which would have made more sense because then no one he's not gonna possibly have um um, the AI take over this country because once you're inactive long enough the AI will and <clears throat> They'll have all these cities that they can use against you and they will try to take back land if there's um, any lost land so and the, On top of that. It's a fuel city in most cases 
fuel isn't that important for most people in the game. Fuel is probably one of the least useful um, things that you can have. Electronics are semi-useful, rare materials are highly useful, just in the name rare materials. Um, components are really useful and supplies is really really useful. As you can tell I'm low on it and I'm producing 143 an hour. So unlike on in every other resource I'm perfectly fine in. I could probably use a few more rare materials but I'm fine. I think I've taken over a rare material city. No I haven't but I'll be fine. Um, we're going to gun for this Libya city here, which is a supply city, which I didn't notice. Um, this is a fuel city, so not that important. Don't know why he's taken over that city, and plus he has a squad drone surrounding it, which is weird. Like, why would you want... Because Greece is obviously going to take over Serbia at one point. Because he is an active player, and this isn't. So why would you want to be surrounded for Gre um, from Greece, right? So, eventually, I'm gonna guess Greece is probably not just gonna let him have this random city in, in his part of his land, right? Because I wouldn't. So, at one point, Italy knows that Greece is going to have to attack this, because he, because either way, you don't want Italy just sitting there and building up troops and then flying out into the rest of your, um, cities, especially with, um, that city being so close to his homeland. Um, cities which are really important which if you're a, you've played the game at least a little bit you should know that your homeland cities do increase your morale in all your other cities and even um, occupied or annexed cities will their morale will dip causing you not to build in areas quickly and yeah and overall longer waiting times when you do finally get those uh, infiltrary set up and stuff it'll be very hard to and even if you expand and you don't go back to your homeland cities, you'll still take forever to build anything of the kind. And it, I think it also affects your research too. But besides the point, I don't know why he has that there. Weird. Just wanted to point that out. Turkey looks like he's fine, really. He, ch I know it looks like he's low on infiltrary. He just has a big stack here and another big stack here and another semi big yeah big stack here also as well so in total he does have a uh, quite a bit of infiltrary and recon vehicles he's just decided to like stack them in a way which i find extremely weird with how ukraine is progressing oh uh, yeah ukraine has built some um big things over here so i'm surprised he hasn't um you know like strengthen his coastal line because you no know, ukraine could just drop down like that but i don't think he will but still so that's pretty much it guys we're going to go we're going to war with libya as well and we're going to try to take over the rest of israel and we're also going to take over try to take over some of ethiopia as well so with our new coalition member so you definitely don't want to um miss another episode so don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that like button and that share button share it to someone that you know that also likes strategy games or even war games or even likes this game or and knows of it just share it around that would be greatly appreciated and that's it i'm out bye